Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this sampath you are watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews i am in pixel os currently and flashing the evolution x 8.2 with january security patch we'll see how the flashing method is and what all the requirements and guys you should follow my telegram group and just join whatsapp group for poco x a dedicated group is available for poco x slash nfc you can join there i'll be giving these links in the description i am in the whatsapp group link and this twrp recovery and rom zip file everything will be there in the whatsapp group and even description check out description guys first and foremost thing is uh, remove the passwords and everything and i have copied these files like recovery for example if i go into sg card yeah into the download section as you can see recovery i have this 3.7.0 12 for surya 16 12 img it's already flashed actually and rom zip files this is the evolution x latest build on the firmware is flashable firmware definitely 14.0.2.0 global firmware i am having all these files are ready now boot into recovery press restart and press this volume up button to boot into recovery and guys i am in uh, latest twrp recovery already as you can see the bootloader is also unlocked few people uh, those smartphones boot unlocked boot loader is not uh, unlocked they are also seeing the video but they need to unlock and use this custom recovery as your recovery as you can see this is the latest recovery available in this particular smartphone now i don't go with wipe here we'll see advanced wipe and select this partitions and let's see will it get yeah unable to mount storage now i'll directly go into sd card here yeah okay and download this i mean the i'll flash firmware first 14.0.2.0 yeah here we go it will get flashed within a while as you can see and now i'll select the rom zip file evolution x this is the rom zip file latest build this is as you can see january 6th build it will get flashed wait until it gets flashed Meanwhile, if you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, guys, and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like. As you can see, this is the version. It was very quick to flash this ROM. Now go to Home section, and there is advanced options. As you can see, disable force encryption. DFE is pre-applied in this particular recovery. It's really very good. Let's try this. it will boot it or not as you can see disable force encryption has been done here successful wipe completed now select reboot system we'll see if it can boot into evolution os evolution x latest 8.2 or not yeah it is booting but you should wait for certain period of time you will get this booting logo but it will not boot it in uh, encrypted kind of roms but i hope this is a decrypted rom let's see i'll forward it i waited for certain period of time it's still showing the pixel is starting logo and this one it's not getting booted into evolution x as you can see yeah now i'll do one thing i'll press volume up button and power button to boot into recovery as you see guys i always recommend to flash any custom rom using format data method only because of these issues as you can see it's not even getting booted into recovery now yeah booted into recovery sometimes you don't even get this option to boot into recovery you will get just uh, fast boot mode then it will be even difficult now i'll go into wipe and select a format data and type here yes and press this tick button as you can see data format complete but still you get unable to mount storage now i'll go into reboot and select the system it will boot into evolution x custom rom this time this is how the flashing method guys i hope you guys understood and in this video you also going to see what all the benchmark results how is the battery life will it support 33 watt charging support or not how is the bgmi gameplay what graphics settings we get what all the customization we get in this particular room everything will be explained in detail 
to know all these things you should wait until end of this video stay tuned till the end of the video guys now you guys can see it's booted into proper evolution x rom i'll be doing setup and install all these apps and let's begin this video android version is 14 you can see the easter egg here uh, security patch is january 5 2024 that's the latest 8.2 decoy is the version name baseband version you can read and kernel user is 4.14.328 lineage penguin edition kernel has been used build maintainer you can see build date is january 6th as i said before and regarding the home screen you get this kind of customization and this all the animations you guys can get as you can see once you turn on any of the quick settings panel you get this all the quick settings toggles what have been added in the edit section you also get plenty of other options too as you can see the smoothness in the ui is quite good here i haven't faced any issues call recording toggle has been also added here and dialer you get simple dialer as you can see you can directly make the video calls from here and also you can record the call but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call that's how the call recording i'll decrease a little bit of brightness here. it's too bright to visually for you and regarding home screen again you get wallpaper and style here you get lock screen customization as you can see this is the visually changes you can see in android 14 other than that nothing is there here as you can see you can even adjust the color and you can adjust this opacity and size also you can make it out smaller if you want those are the customizations you get shortcuts and again these are the other customizations you get in terms of lock screen and home screen and there are some pre-installed wallpapers too mm, yeah here as you can see these are the pixel kind of wallpapers but they haven't implemented that much yet but it's fine and you will get this app suggestions i will disable that and this is all the widgets you get nothing change in terms of uh, visual here but internally there are a lot more changes has been done and even evolution x is also following the same and their information you can see here level one certified no need to worry watching ott applications in high definition resolution you also get this papers application here you get print of wallpapers it's kind of a themes but i don't recommend to use that but if you like that you can definitely use them out and google pay google maps location services everything are working fine here no problem regarding that too and safety net status you guys can see here both get passed here i'll be also showing some of the other options present available in this particular room you can actually make them uh, pass that i will explain within a while and fm radio is also given here no need to worry and i could better i would have run this before anyhow and 33 watt charging support is there guys anyhow i'll enable these settings right now at least at the end of the video we can see that yeah okay battery don't optimize done yeah you'll get some results here and 33 watt first in charging is available internet connectivity is also fine no problem and the earpiece quality is also fine while making calls and stereo speakers are working fine headphone jack is also working fine call quality is also fine no problem regarding that here in this particular room and Android benchmark results you can see 3,70,983 is the score and 0 0.7 degrees Celsius is the temperature decrease here and 3 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing and this is the version of Android I use guys you might see different score if you use different Android benchmark application yeah that's how it is and we'll move some of the other results also yeah internal storage hello yeah, these are the files i got anyhow i'll start with this quick 751 is a single score 1844 is a multi-score linux 4.14.328 is a kernel use and this is an android 14 build guys and you can see i have run the cp throttling test for 100 test case and you can see is this is for 15 minutes case and these are the scores what i achieved 199 is the maximum average is 168 and minimum is 126 million gps and it's startled to 80 percent of its max performance this is for 15 minutes see the graph guys how it looks like and this is the android benchmark and this is the results of what i got moving into settings as you can see this is how the settings is very very smooth actually i found this android 14 custom rom is very smooth here it has been done great previously also now also it's good in my opinion and evolver you get themes here again you get plenty of options status bar again here also remains same 
your notifications again in the status bar i have seen this status bar lyric option if you enable that you need these requirements once you get that you can enable that quick settings again there are some customization as you can see and even power menu gestures lock screen customizations buttons animations and mainly i have seen this quick settings and this status bar again you can select the logo here you can position them left or right and battery style there are plenty again battery percentage battery bar if you want that you can enable that too status bar icons if you want it to be in colored you can enable that mac and mic and camera and location privacy indicator if you don't want that you can disable them some of the options you can see from here into the miscellaneous settings as you can see play integrity fix you can select the type of model and you can fix the integrity if the safety and status will not get passed then you can make it out that's a cool option you can see in this particular rom and you can spoof the device and enable pixel props and unlock high fps games like bgm i'll be showing the gameplay very soon stay tuned guys and this are the customizable evolver settings and this is the actual setting into system there are keyboard setting navigation mode settings into the gestures you get plenty of options here as you can see and double tap to wake yeah sleep is working only on the home screen yeah this is how it looks actually always on display if i even press this and you can see the face unlock which is also working fine however i touch the face unlock you can also see the fingerprint unlock speed face unlock again as you can see it's quite fast to unlock your smartphone using this evolution x particular rom and swipe to three finger screenshot quickly open camera one handed mode again as you can see those are really working fine here i haven't found this other settings like navigation gestion bar length and all but anyhow these are the settings you get and in the accessibility menu you also get this shortcut without actually using the physical this volume buttons you can actually access them from this virtual button what it is called as accessibility menu also display size and text these are my settings if you want bold text you can enable that too but it all depends upon your personal preference security and privacy as i said both fingerprint and face unlock are given in this particular rom no need to worry in the display settings again extra dim feature adaptive brightness is working fine dark theme again if i go down there is even a custom theme to select in a pitch black condition as you can see it taking restart here system will restart once you change any system settings and use custom themes here make it vivid monet then it will be in pitch black condition as you can see guys uh, there will be a little bit of lag but that's quite common here and again display settings wake up plug tap to wake pocket detection full screen lapse if certain apps are not playing in the full screen you can enable them here minimum maximum low power refresh rate are kept to 30 120 and 60 hertz respectively smart pixels option if you want you can enable them but i don't think so that will be useful for this poco x is less enough so because it's having a lcd display night light feature also you can schedule it out adjust the intensity also and sound and vibration again you get plenty of options here no dolby atmos support here and this vibration pattern is given and vibration and haptics for certain things you can adjust the intensity from here nothing new here battery settings battery usage you can see the graphs and usage of each and every apps what i have is now battery saver is given extreme battery saver again you get plenty of options as you can see here you can select the apps that are essential for you you can schedule it out and remember some of the options which are provided here now battery temperature cycle count battery widget if you want you can add them apps notification settings remain same nothing new here this all the settings and this how the quick settings and recent apps as you can see guys and you can even select the text here and split screen option is also working for as you can see quite uh, handy here as you can see this one this one you can scroll here as you can see both are very smooth and responsive here. i haven't filled any i mean i haven't feel any uh, lag in the ui or anything like that that's the goodness of this ui let's see the bgm gameplay and how it handle in this 90 fps graphic settings as you can see guys however i told this before it says 90 fps option has been enabled here and this is the volume panel you get while i playing the game and this is the 
quick settings panel and you can also see the echo battery results after a certain period of time i also show you after this gameplay as you can see 90 fps is the most beneficial way to get uh, good gaming here you can expect and i am getting this kind of ping i will be soon changing my uh, wi-fi connection let's see what that will offer me to the ping i will decrease the volume here yeah let's see if i can able to take any kills a uh, little bit difficult for me like this playing but that's the internet speed and all things those things makes huge difference in gameplay not only that you also be a little bit skillful because nowadays these kind of games are mostly based on the skill what you apply as you can see counter attacks and something like that you should plan to get better and better kills and win to the victory i mean get into the victory uh, anyhow this is the rom performance here i haven't faced any lag as of now as you can see yeah i'll come back here and this is my personal favorite rom guys if i'm using poco x3 or nfc device i will definitely go with this evolution x always and this version of evolution x with january security patch is really really good this is the mostly only one particular rom is available for uh, poco x or poco x nfc that with january security patch and i really like the experience in the cv i really happy with the experience also you also see the app active status from here as you can see and the gameplay is also fine and the options what you get for customization and increase high fps other things are also fine here i definitely recommend you to flash this rom and use it as a daily driver we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keeps smiling bye bye for now i am sampath signing off